everyone, this is Stevio here, playing on Midwest Horizons. So today, we're going to go look at our fishing pond. Yep, still looks great. But we need, we have a lot of work to do. So we're going to jump into our F-250 diesel here. Actually, we just need to go down to our lower farm here. So what we need to do, we need to prep our farm. We need to grow our farm. We got a lot of money. So most of that money is because of the 1.4 update, a lot of, of my mods were causing lag. So not all of that was because of that. Had to sell some of my mods. One point four update was causing some lag, so I don't know if any of you guys have been experiencing that or not. So off screen I harvest this cotton so you guys that live in Ohio wanna have to see it. So I know you guys don't aren't able to raise cotton up in the colder state of Ohio. I would like to prep that field for a new project we have going on today. And we got to sell our grain. Let's see what our grain is prices are so it's going down so we need to get a sell course started I do like my 9RT here Field finisher is awesome too. So, if you don't know, currently we just have a crop only farm. I would like to extend that to animals. So, my plan is I gotta prep this field here because we are gonna grow, make us a little feedlot here. Hopefully I have enough money, so I'm probably going to have to sell the crops too so I can have enough money to uh, make this the way I want it. Got to get these nasty stems cultivated under. they could do some damage. We probably should have a field roller hook up for this 9RT like they have for the 8R to save the tracks or the tires in this case tracks. Basically that pushes over the stems so they don't poke into the tracks cause damage to the rubber. This is not a very big field, so this isn't going to be much of a crop acre loss here and we can always grow the farm out this is more of a convenience to have the cattle close to our farm 
old wifey's gonna have to smell the feedlot manure smell, but comes with living in the country on a farm. So I will probably time lapse or speed up the rest of this so you guys won't have to see the whole operation here. So now we're done, we got the field prep, now we got to clean this rig off here so it doesn't rust or anything. Also probably do a little servicing of it, make sure bearings are good. here to our pressure washer. Stay away from the tree branches. Didn't do a very good job of that. There we go. And spray these tracks off. Hopefully they didn't get too damaged. Hopefully they come out with the 3D tracks again because them things look amazing. I know they got them on into 17 so I know they can do it for 19 too. Still waiting now. Got some caked in mud in that wheel worm there. There we go. We got that. Now let's go park this again. Park our expensive 9RT back in the shed. And then we gotta start hauling our grain. Got a lot of wheat to sell before the prices drop. go. So let's get into our, hmm, what do we, you know what, I think I want to drive my long nose flat top. Who wouldn't want to drive this thing? Look at it. Just look at it. Pretty. Alright, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how would you do a unload course. I've had a lot of people asking on through course play. It's really easy to do. There has been some slight changes from 17. 
the key with course play is you always want to have the unload point and the load point in separate areas like this. So the trigger, you see how the load and the unload are in separate areas, so the triggers are in separate areas. You want that because otherwise it seems to derp up course play a lot. So we want this function. This is the grain transport function. Delete any other courses or course play courses you may have. So we're going to do start recording. So this uh, would just be. Hold on a second. Why isn't this giving me a trigger? Oh, there we go. We got wheat, and I'm derpy enough not to remember where the good price is. So Cooper Grain, Cooper Farms elevator. Where is that again? Ooh, that's a drive. So you guys are gonna get to see a drive. So right now, all we have to do is that. Loaded it up. Turn my blinkers on. So as you can see, we're now setting off breadcrumbs. I could like to call these course play breadcrumbs. So the key is, so if you are going to have a few uh, trucks unloading, you want to try to stay on your side of the road so that way you don't have a headlong collision because course play follows the breadcrumbs oh got out of control so i did a bad job right there of getting on the road not very realistic so guess what all you have to do is push pause back up straight not like you're derpy holy cow Close your eyes, folks. There we go. I wanted to make it wide because most of my drivers they make their turns wide. So now we just delete our breadcrumbs where we don't want them. Unpause. Get the window out of our face. And there we go. Now we're headed off again. So. That way you don't have to reload your course, especially for long courses like this. Who wants to reload a course that long? So we are headed for blinkers on, even though we're going 60 mile an hour. I wonder if this truck really goes 124. Don't think I should try it on a course play course. So, usually you don't want to get your course play drivers out of control, which they are unintelligent drivers, so they will go the speed that you operate at, as long as the equipment are able to complete that speed. So, let's say we drive a slower truck, it's only going to go its max speed, it's not going to go anything that's not scripted to it. So, also, you want to slow down, break for your turns, and all you, no cop, no stop. We had our blinkers on, it's okay. We do not use our turn blinker though no one was watching so here to the right of us there is actually where I made my last Midwest Horizon on my channels farm build want to go check that out did another farm build here Midwest Horizon so I have to say I like that farm build more. Don't know which farm I like more, my current one or that one, but that one was also one of my favorites. 
farm yards. So again, slow down. Put on our blinker. There we go. basically have our blinkers on because we're kind of an out of control driver if you haven't noticed. Better slow down around these turns. And definitely some uneven ground around here so Again, turn my blinker on. I gotta get used to using my blinkers for the farming tournament. Muscle memory is what they teach us in the military, so hopefully this gets me not to get fined constantly. Shouldn't have said that now all the cops out there are gonna be looking for me. Should hit the trigger. There we go. Hit the trigger. So there's nothing special you have to do here. You just have to make sure you go over the trigger. And there we go. 47 in the bank. looking at some of the rules for the farming tournament man no hired help on a 4x map that will be a first for me so you don't know 4x map is twice this or four times the size of a uh, normal giants in-game map so That is huge. So just think of the biggest field on Raven Point, Ravenport, and probably times it by six, if not more, and that's how big the fields will be, the average fields will be. So don't think I'm gonna be using a four bottom plow, but I guess that is an option. Get out of my way, birdies. Luckily, they didn't hit the truck. Got a pretty paint color, paint scheme on this truck. Don't want to ruin it. Got another bridge coming up, so you want to stay away from any collision points, like the bridges, because course play will find them. Trust me, it's good at that. Okay, now there we go. Loop that around. Let's turn my blinkers off because I'm not going at a slow rate of speed. Maybe crazy, but not slow. There we go. What speed do you think we can get up to? It's like we're hovering around 73 with it for. It's probably a good, good thing too.
So we're leaving multiple breadcrumbs, that's for sure. Don't worry, all these breadcrumbs will disappear if you save the course and you will not see them in your game. So this is a tricky turn here. We didn't take very well, but I would like to stay out of the other direction's breadcrumbs, but I think it's more important to uh, maintain, keep the truck within uh, stable pass her F250 there Ooh. I want to kind of make this wide because you want to pretty much straighten out as much as possible for that first waypoint. I'm not doing a very good job of that. Do a better job than I am. There we go. Now, now you push stop. Save it what you want to. Okay, so now we go over here. We're at wheat already, so we'll click that at wheat. Uh, you can also stop at last next or last trigger point number of runs so I could say how many runs if I only want to sell a load or two uh, covers so this kind of automatic fuel saving option refuel uh, warning lights on the street beacon lights uh, hazard lights so I always like to turn that on and this is the speed, so this is the speed from recording. If your truck is getting out of control, you can always push this down a few notches if possible. And now we let him run. And he fills up. up with grain and headed to the elevator.
jump out here while it's running. Another load. Let's see. It still has a few loads left. Maybe just four loads that can get it in. So we still got some more money going in, so let's get to doing some landscaping. Have the contractor come in and build us some pins. We will put grass down on everything to start out. And also level out the land here. decided to go with north and south facing lots. Take some extra time making sure the feed lots are completely straight and parallel with each other. Didn't get these feedlots spaced out enough. Now I have them spaced too far apart. Finally got them spaced just perfect for the overhang. Now we just have to do some ground modifications. Also put in some standing silos. bit more beautification and we're done. So there you have it folks, we have a feedlot on the farm. We have two fermenting silos here, old school edition fermenting silos, and four feedlot pins with an overhead cover. We purchased us an Anderson feed wagon here to help us feed. Hopefully we can afford the rest of the must needed items so we can grow our feedlot. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.